When I heard Tom was making this movie, I, I, didn't, I only knew a little bit of the story, but I immediately wanted to read it, and I read it and immediately wanted to do it. Um, it was such a powerful story, and it was coming out at a, what I felt was going to be a really important time for this movie. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was an amazing part, and, and uh, immediately did a Google search on Mike Rosendi's and uh, watched a bunch of video on him and thought, okay, I got my work cut out for me here, but uh, what a great part. I feel very uh, lucky to be portrayed by the greatest actor on the planet. Uh, everybody I know uh, tells me that he has nailed me perfectly. <laughs> it, it keeps the public attention, keeps focus on the issue of clergy sex abuse, and uh, I think it's a good thing because I think a lot more has to be done on that issue. For the most part, our story takes place in 2001 and ends in early 2002. It's a very clear, you know, time period. And it's happened long enough ago that we could really look at that story and research that story with some perspective. Also, we had tremendous access, not only to the reporters, but, you know, we spoke to almost everyone you see in the film. I think it's a beautiful movie, a really important movie. And uh, I think Tom uh, and Josh, the co-writer, did a beautiful job uh, honoring the survivors, honoring the city of Boston, and honoring journalism. It's just, I, I, even if I wasn't in it, it would be one of my favorite movies of the year. You know, it's hard to make journalism exciting as far as in a two-hour format, and it's hard to make, uh, it's hard to talk about abuse. It's really hard to talk about. Um, and I think this movie successfully makes journalism like the most exciting thing you've ever seen. It's really, like, it's crazy. It's a thriller. And it, it uh, addresses abuse in a really sensitive, uh, thoughtful way. Sasha Pfeiffer really gave me my voice in a way, in a, in a way that set me off on a journey. And I was carrying fear, and like I told you, shameless, needless guilt and shame for all. I was then 42 and it went on, and I finally was able to work through. Um, and, uh, and I learned one lesson, which was that one voice really Whenever one person speaks up, it can help others. I mean, we're so used to asking people questions. We grill them. We ask intrusive questions. We've got a taste of what it's like, and we now know it's not always comfortable. But I think it's probably important to turn the tables once in a while so that you can we can experience what we do to other people. I think that probably makes us better reporters, ultimately. It never occurred to any of, uh, any of us that a story about how we got the story would be of interest to anyone because, you know, we're journalists, and what we do is pretty tedious, requires a lot of checking records and all that, and somehow Tom McCarthy made a, a, almost a magical film that got it right.